All right, good evening. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the show work window in WebAssign. So the show work window is available on your homework and on your tests. Uh, the timing of this is such as you may choose to use it on either, particularly as we are not meeting in person anymore. Uh, you may find it particularly helpful with your test, specifically if you would like partial credit for some of your work. All right, so here's how it works. I have pulled up your assignment from 3.6, my version of it, and I am going to scroll down to problem number three. Problem number three asks you for the y-intercept, um, and you could maybe do this without showing work. I'm just gonna purposefully show you how. So in order to show work, you wanna to go to the show my work here at the bottom of the question. It is optional, it is never required. And we're gonna click on that plus sign. You can click anywhere in this box and that will open up a ribbon similar to a menu that you would see in a Word document. It allows you to type in, this is my answer. All right, and then from here, I'm going to not use the word to type in my math, but rather I'm gonna go over here to the far right-hand side where it says insert math, and I'm going to click on that. That opens up a math palette that gives you the option of fractions, exponents, subscripts. Uh, we don't use that one, but uh, exponents and subscripts, um, roots, roots of different, um, powers other than squared, and you can sort of play around in here a different time if you want it. But here we go. So I'm supposed to find the y-intercept. In order to find the y-intercept, you have to let x equal zero. So you might not type that in. I'm probably typing in more than you wanted. So we need to find r of zero. There we go r of zero would equal, and I'm gonna go ahead and up in my palette use the fraction option. So that would be zero plus one, which is one, times zero minus two, which is a negative two, over zero plus two, which is two, times zero minus five, which is a negative five. I do have to scroll one, to the right, and that's gonna equal, I'm gonna go back to my fraction palette here, a negative two over a negative 10, which is going to equal a one fifth. I can't do that, can I? There we go, back to the fraction button. All right, I see how that's working. That's being difficult for me. There we go, one fifth. And that's it, I've shown my work. I can now type in that the function r has a y-intercept of one fifth. And I can check or submit my answer. And let's see if it takes it. Will it take it? Will it take it? It does. All right, and I've got my work in there. All great. Now, if I go to problem number four, I can show my work again, but this time I'm supposed to do vertical asymptotes. That's a whole lot to type in. It's going to take forever. So instead what I'm gonna do is choose the upload file. So I've done my work on a separate sheet of paper, I've taken a picture of it, and I've saved it someplace where it can be reached, usually someplace back on my computer. So I'm gonna go to Upload File, and you see here I've created a folder that says Section 3.6. I'm gonna open that folder and find 3.6 number four. That's going to upload And boom, it has attached the file so that I can open it later to see your work. 